do want to show you this little tool that I will be using to hold my little piece of sponge. It is a pinching tool, a crimping tool. And what you do is you pinch the back of it, pick up your little piece of sponge, let go of the back, see? The first thing that you will need to do is you will need to paint your nails white. And in this video, I have painted the nail a white in gel polish. I've used the Adirondack alcohol inks in the colors red, blue, and green and mixed them together to get a nice brown. We're just going to sponge it on. See? Looks pretty already. And it dries very fast. Very, very fast. Put some over top of the others. See that? Now I've got another sponge, a clean one, and I've been dipping it in the rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, right here on this little tray right down here. And I'm going to just blot it on the nail, and you'll see it's starting to react. Just blending it. Oh, look at that big drop. See what it did? It kind of looks nice. I don't want to have too much. There. Probably going to have to go over there. Do that now. Redo it. It's pretty forgiving and it dries quickly, so you see what ha happened. So now what I'm just going to do is just going to come back in and add more of the brown and again it's drying it dries pretty quickly I think I want to get a little bit of this alcohol in there. Look at that. See that? It's really crazy, huh? <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's really super cool. Kind of looks like snake skin now. But you just keep keep going at it and you press out the excess from the sponge on a little piece of uh, paper towel and just keep adding more to get it to wherever you like, how you like it. I want to show you something else too. I'm going to take this spray bottle and it's filled with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to hold it. Here's the nozzle. We're going to hold it at a distance and I'm going to spray and we'll see what happens. I think I'm going to hold it like about 10 inches away. Check that out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> now that is sweet. All right. Dip it in the, we're dipping it in the, the alcohol, the sponge this other sponge. Now you don't want to get too much. Remember we flooded it out so be careful. I made this purple as well. I made it out of a black marker but it wasn't black. It was purple. And I made it out of rubbing alcohol. So we'll see what happens. We just it on. Oh, it's giving it. Hmm. It's not quite as concentrated. I really like that. That's starting to look like a granite. And you know what? 
I think I'm going to leave it like that. I really think it's gorgeous. And I'm going to add some gold foil to it. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, now we're just going to use some CND's Black Pool Gel Polish, UV Gel Polish. And before doing the foil, I think I want to go around the perimeter of the nail and make it black. All right, I'm just going to come in with a little bit more of this black and just do um, like really thin little veins of it. Just go ahead and cure that for two to three minutes in the UV light. Now I'm going to take some foil and I'm just going to touch it where the little black veining is that I put on there. Try not to get it around the edge where the black is. I mean, um, that might not be too sticky anymore because I cured it again for a second time. So I'm going to be top coating this with Jalaise's top coat. And it does leave a tacky layer, which you will have to clean. Um, just another tip here is that to prevent this design from smearing you want to kind of float this top coat on you don't want to brush stroke it a lot or you could ruin the design see I just dropped it on there and I'm just pulling it down let's put this in the UV lamp for two to three minutes the finished nail it's beautiful and these alcohol inks, as you could see in the video, are very forgiving. And, you know, when you thought at one point I lost that design, I didn't. And um, the color combinations that you can come up with are just unlimited. Take care, everyone. Bye.